Hey everyone, um, it's Jan here. Um, I'm the director at Tilt Training. Today we're going to have a quick chat with Nick from Robert. So Nick is um, our presenter for RAM Concept Advance. So we're going to understand, you know, a bit about the upcoming course and also um, ask a few questions from Nick. So um, Nick, you want to introduce yourself? Tell us a bit about uh, yourself and your experience. How did you learn RAM and uh, yeah, um, I'll ask you the other questions later. Um, hi, Aaron. Hi, everyone. Yep, so my name's Nicholas Smith, and I'm a design engineer uh, for Robert Burr Group. And I've had about five years' experience using RAM Concept, predominantly nice. designing uh, the Crown Casino here in Sydney. And um, I started back um, those five years ago, and the journey has been long. And the more you use RAM and understand it, uh, the more capabilities you get out of it and the more you understand what it can do um, and also what it can't do and the general pitfalls that people have in terms of modeling, understanding PT, understanding the design and the, and the outputs to get the most out of the software. And that's hopefully what I will be able to show you a bit about um, over the RAM advanced course. And That's good. Very good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I totally agree. To be honest, RAM is a very powerful point element software, but Sometimes, obviously, lack of you know knowledge. We don't even use some of the tools that is quite crucial, and it's it's there to obviously and uh, to uh, get the results we want. So that was good. Uh, thanks, Nick. So let's get to the maybe my next question. So um, could you tell us a bit about you know the the challenges that you, know, you had when start using RAM and uh, which parts was quite you know. Uh, challenging for you to get your head around it and make sure that it's done correctly. Uh, yeah, so definitely there is a, a learning process when uh, you, when you're learning RAM and so the mesh inputs and the defining P and defining PT or reinforcement aren't um, overly challenging. It's when you start getting in, into the design strips and understanding the load history and um, really getting the most out of the software. That's, that's probably the most challenging part. Definitely understanding cross-section trimming, um, the way that RAM divides up the slab, the, the way that we define the, those parameters uh, within the design strips really um, dictate the way you design that slab. And that is definitely quite challenging. And once you get um, a solid understanding of those aspects, then you can better understand the outputs and actually how to read the reinforcement outputs, yeah. bending moment capacities, shear capacities. Um, and all yeah, that. That, that was it. Yeah. Even myself, I remember the biggest challenge was you know, the multiple errors and warnings we, we get during the process of, you know, modeling and design. And um, sometimes I, I see people, you know, completely overlook that and say, oh, not a big deal, not a big deal. <laughs> but uh, that's not right. So, um, yeah, actually, a big part of the presentation we're going to cover, um, it looks at, you know, those um, common problems we're getting and how we can fix it. So, Nick, you want to share with us, you know, just a quick, um, you know, sneak peek of what's covered during the session. Maybe share with us some of the slides or show us what's covered. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just quickly share my screen. Is that showing up? Yep, coming up. Yep. Yeah, I got that, yep. Yeah. Uh, so definitely some of the aspects we're gonna be um, covering is having, having a is having a detailed look at the design strip properties and when you get into here there are there are so many things and there's so many things to get your head around not only you know what you're specifying but how that relates to the code and how that can impact the design of uh of the slab you're you do your modeling and um doing the analysis on so we'll be having a deep look at the cross-section trimming as well as some of the torsion and um, how this can impact your design and the strip generation and a few like things like that and so we'll be, we'll be really getting a, a good understanding of of the design strips and how that interacts with your pt and your reinforcement and going through those errors that aaron mentioned um and yep. the common ones and the pitfalls that people people have and and how to how to solve those errors so you have a model running without any errors yep. which you should always be able to do that's true, yeah. And also, uh, uh, just let me add on a bit as well, the plot function 
of the RAM is very, very powerful. Uh, that's the, obviously the feature that maybe most engineers may not be aware of and, and they may not really take in the full um, capacity of the uh, RAM. Nick, you wanna just quickly show us the, the plot uh, menu yeah, for the definitely. RAM and then tell us uh, what's really capable and maybe give us a quick example um, of what we can do with the plot function. Yeah, so the first thing I'm just going to quickly show on this this quick example is this is what everybody typically looks at when they look at the plot and um, everyone becomes quite comfortable with how to, how to open these, but it's not very user-friendly and sort of yeah. understanding. It's just looking at the finite element output. So one thing we can start doing once our design strips are set up properly and the model's running is we can really start getting into understanding the bending moments and start looking at sort of the, the maximum and minimum demands based on the applied loads yeah. but then what you can start looking at is also the capacities so based on what you've inputted we can start having a look at at these capacities down down here yeah. and we'll also get into how we can actually start simplifying the output and yeah. so we can really um, tidy it up and people can understand yeah. exactly what we're looking at here amazing yeah. sounds like a lot of information so that's good. So um, actually, let me mention that during the session, everyone will have the chance to use the RAM. Even if you are remote, you still have some sort of remote access to use the RAM, even if you don't have the RAM. So it will be quite interactive to obviously do the session, ask as many as questions you want. And yeah, it's a great chance to upskill and make sure that you are using the software correctly. Um, that's it, Nick, you wanna add anything? Um, no, there's a few other things we'll, I'll add just a few other points. We'll be talking um, a bit about the load history, understanding yeah. those parameters and, uh, you know, getting the most ac accurate deflection plots, um, yeah. deflection outputs you can get, um, and just touching on a few of the more advanced areas of the auditor. And um, also one of the key aspects of RAM is understanding what it doesn't design for when designed to AS3600. Yeah. Yeah. And um, RAM has recently been updated to... 2018 so it'll be interesting to see how they've incorporated that design into the software yeah, yeah that would be good actually do some compression maybe and uh, you know get different people's opinion during the workshop so uh, some discussions and some little fights <laughs> not <Yeah>. fights <laughs> improving points okay very good nick and um, that was good and um, talking to you and yeah i'll look forward for the session and uh, we'll see each other on saturday i think it's 26 september which is going to be a full day session. So that's it. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks, Aaron. Look forward to seeing everybody there. Cheers, Matthew. See you there.